Hi guys! So today's design is um, another one that I've learned. It's called Painting Lash Art and it is by uh, Ri Fukuyama and she is a Nero Sansai and a Nedu Sansei. We'll get that out. And I just wanted to show this one to you guys because I love this one. It is brilliant. It's uh you you you've got to see it once I finished with it. It really is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful design. So I just need to get a nail out. Not done that yet, just should have actually done. I may do a whole set here, so just get a few out. before I started the video but I didn't so just bear with me for a minute here I had just got finished doing the acro gel nail so I've just uh, gone for straight from one video to the next Okay, so, um, sorry about the noise out there, that is traffic. But anyway, um, as, I get, as I said, this is called a painting lash art nail, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's so easy to do as well. So just uh, bear with me here. Okay, but what you'll need for this nail, or for this design, well first of all you're going to need a base coat. Um, I'm just using one of my base coats that, that's, that's been hanging around because it's going to be on one of these nails, it's not going to be on a real nail. And I'd rather keep my best base coats and top coats for real nails. So, uh, this one I'm using Azure, it's not it's, it's, it's pretty good. It's not bad at all. And you can get that off of eBay. This is the base coat and this is the top coat. So you'll need those. You'll also need a neon pink color. And these are gel paints. You do need the gel paints for these because they're, it needs to be quite thick. You need a pretty stark white gel paint. You need um, a, a blue like this, sort of an ash blue. So you'll need that. You'll need an orange, hopefully well, a, a, a neon orange gel, that's what, what this is. And a rose pink. And also you'll need some sort of gold art paint. Um, uh, I'm, I'm using my spider gel, but I will show you what I do with it. I don't use it as it is uh, for this art. I will thin it down with something else and use it as a gel paint. 
Okay, and of course you'll need something to clean your brushes with. You'll need a regular uh, paintbrush of some kind. Um, I usually use a flat paintbrush. This one's seen its be seen better days. And you'll also need a striper brush. Okay, and also something to um, mix your paints with because they always need mixing when you when you first start using them. Okay, these and, and some of these I haven't used yet, so they will need mixing up. So just um, the first thing you want to do is to mix them a bit. I'm going to take a few and pop it on my makeshift palette here. And yeah, it is a makeshift palette. It, palette. it is funny because it is an old fashioned coaster. I mean, one of these old coasters, I mean, one of the girls noticed it yesterday and was laughing at it because it's it really is out of an out of date po an out of date coaster so hey use anything you, that you've got that's what I'm doing I uh, don't want to use that one yet we want to put our rose pink on there first and just take some of this and put it out on the palette so we want to have quite a bit of this because we're going to do two coats of it. And this is this uh, nail paint that I've got. It is gel paint. It's highly pigmented gel paint. Um, this, this is from Anself. You can get it off of Amazon. The whole set of 36 different colors for 17 pounds. I'm just going to pop all of these on my palette so I don't have to open them up again. The rest of them you don't need a lot, just need a small bit, unless you're doing a whole set of 10 nails and then maybe a little bit more, but not much more than that. Let's move these out of the way, I'll be doing something different with them in a bit. love this pink. It's so pretty. Okay, we've got our palette loaded here. 
so I can move those out of the way. Okay. Okay, the first thing we want to do. is to put the rose pink on the nail load it up quite well I'm going to do two coats of this quite a sheer pink so don't worry if it's see-through okay I'm gonna pop that into the lamp for 30 seconds okay that's come out of the lamp just going to do a second coat here. And the reason I use nail art paint to, to for the base coat for this instead of nail gel uh, is uh, for nail, instead of nail gel polish is because the nail art paints that I'll be putting on top of it adhere to it better. I could always use nail gel uh, nail art uh, sorry nail gel polish if I want to but this seems to work better with the nail gel paints because it is nail gel paint itself just popping that back into the lamp for 30 more seconds okay so that is done there okay the next thing you want to do I'm going to get a smaller brush here And to start out, you want to take some white. You want to start in the corner. And you don't want you don't want to don't want a full loaded brush of white. You just want enough to actually draw, do lines with. So you want to start in the corner and then draw zigzags draw a zigzag line here do another one over here this is a very very simple and very easy design do one here there, one on the end there. Just make sure it's the it's it's a, it's a zigzag. There we go. So we've got that. Now you don't want to cure in between because we're going to basically ombre them together. So. Do some neon pink. Put 
put it next to the white. Make that easier for you to see. Okay. And so then we want to put a little bit of blue. Not a lot of blue because it is very uh, a vivid blue. And so just a tiny amount. Maybe put it on the other side of the white. And then finally the orange. Just one bits here and there. it's a quite a vivid color, color as well so we don't want to use a lot of that just cleaning off my brush now okay and what we want to do you want to ombre them together mesh them together Now you don't want to clean off your brush, just do that, just to move them together. If you think you need a little bit more pink or a little more white, then pop it on there. Might have a little bit too much orange there. Add a little bit of pink to it. A little bit more white, I think. There we are. And that's how it should look. It's like a rose garden with many different colors. All melded together with watercolor. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that into the lamp. And I'll do that for 60 seconds because of what I want it to make, make I just want to make sure that it is completely cured. Just 
while I'm at it. Actually, I'm going to leave that because I'll need that in a minute. Okay, so this is uh, quite a, a sticky gel, so we want to put a top coat on for that. Make sure that this top coat is a no white top coat so that it smooths it out and that stickiness is gone. Okay, back into the lamp, 30 seconds. Okay that's ready. Now what I'm going to do is I don't have any um, I don't have a paint that is gold. So I'm going to make do with the spider gel. I'm going to take a bit of it as soon as I can get it out. It's not going to be easy. <laughs> Just string it until it's till it goes away. Might be, be best with a palette. Hold on. Stringy stuff. Just get my palette out. I'm going to use that. that if you have if you have gold um, paint or, or um, nail art paint then use that but I don't have any so I'm just going to take a little bit top coat and I'm going to turn this into gel paint because it goes back to the consistency of gel paint once you put the top coat in with it. That stringiness goes away and it turns it back into a regular paint. be quite a thin gel paint as well. So once it starts losing its stringiness then you know that it's that it's ready. Thank you. 
Okay. Next thing we want to do is put that over here. Take some of this paint. Pop it on that striper brush. See how it's turned it into regular paint now. You want to start here. You just want to draw some zigzag lines. Doesn't matter what you how you do it, do it the way you want to do it. Is a very elegant nail. You can pretty much use this for anything. There you go. I'm just gonna pop that into the lamp for 30 seconds. Clean up my brush. using this from Model Ones and it's nail, Model Ones nail glue and it's brilliant it really is a great nail glue just going to find the thing I need here to put a little bit of bling on here find the one I'm looking for <clears throat> you want to put a little bit of nail glue at the top. So clean off your brush. Make sure it doesn't have any more paint on it. Take a bit of the nail glue. Not a lot. You don't need a whole lot. Just paint it over the place that you want to put your jewels or your jewelry, whatever. If you notice, I'm cleaning off my brush in between to make sure that it doesn't dry on it. So I'm going to, I'm not sure if these are the ones or not. Oh, look. Yep, that's the one I'm looking for. Anything round like that Yeah. 
that it's a phyletic if it goes on there. It needs to go just up close to the cuticle. is straight then pop that into the lamp for 30 seconds okay and now I'm just going to put a second coat of top gel on here butt that up to the um, bronze piece or whatever it is. Whatever you put up there. Nail jewelry is what I call it. doesn't matter if you go over it because it'll still shine so don't worry about that thirty seconds in the lamp now you can do your whole set like this if you want to do it like that or you can mix and match different colors um, or you can do one of these and the rest of them just plain um, colors of uh, gel paint however you want to do them but this is going to be your main nail and I think it is absolutely gorgeous let me just uh, move this up a little bit so it's not so blurry we go. How do you like that? I think it's quite beautiful and I eventually am going to do this on my own nails because I think it is gorgeous. Well, there you are everybody. Um, you, as I said you could do that for all the nails or all five nails um, or all ten nails whichever way you want to do it or you could use this as your um, signature piece and then the rest of them different uh, colors you could do all different colors any colors that you want um, and uh, or you could or you could just put a plain color on the other side um, maybe a bit of uh, metallic or glitter on, on one of the others and then the rest of them plain nails plain color I mean, it's endless possibilities. You can do whatever you want with them. But this one is the ultimate. So, if you have any questions or anything, any comments, comment below. Um, and I will answer any questions that you have. And I will definitely um, be happy for any comments whatever you think about this nail. So uh, until next time, I will speak to you again next week. I will uh, have another design ready for you. Have a great day. Have a wonderful week. What's left of it. And uh, have a great weekend as well. Speak to you soon. Take care.